Jumping Double Dutch brings a certain sense of joy, not only to me, but to all of the ladies who have jumped aboard this movement. And I think it's because it takes us back to our childhood. We have a lot of ladies who have issues like diabetes and heart issues. They've had knee replacement. They've had back problems, just all kind of health challenges. My name is Alexis Bostic. I'm 47. I have type 2 diabetes. I first found out that I had diabetes in 2019. I started um, itching real bad and I had insomnia. I was extra thirsty and then I was excessively going to the bathroom. I was hungry and then I had like a jitter, a yeast infection that wouldn't clear up. So I went to the doctor and she tested my glucose and it was high. It was like 600. It was so much going on at the time. It felt like another brick was put on my shoulders. I changed jobs. I started to delegate a lot of my responsibilities. Introduce yourself, my God. Introduce yourself. My name is Papa. Yeah. yeah. I sit my nap. Uh -huh. Yeah. I'll be here today. Yeah. 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 Introduce yourself, my God. I was watching a YouTube video and I was like, oh, that's cool. Those women look like they're having fun. And then I was at a uh, Juneteenth celebration this year and they were out jumping and I was like, oh, can I jump in? They were like, sure. And I thought there was more to it for me to join. And they were like, come tomorrow at the Y, we'll be there at 2.30. I was like, that's it? They was like, that's it. I started the first club in North Carolina and I became a captain and then the delegate for the Carolinas. I'm also the health and wellness ambassador for the 40 plus double Dutch club. So I lead efforts like walking and helping our founders, Pamela and Katrina. It's just getting together, moving, exercising, and not even realizing that you're exercising, but you're also getting together with other women who are cheering you on, supporting you. And sometimes that's what we need when we're in a slump. It's important for our health not just your physical health, but every area of our health to make sure that we're getting out, spending time with people, spending time to make sure that we're taking care of ourselves because we don't do that the way we should, especially as black women. We have to do a better job of taking care of ourselves and our health. And we don't just jump double dutch. We're jumping double dutch, we're hopscotching, we're hula hooping, we're playing Chinese rope, we're playing jacks. We play tag sometimes, we've done London bridges. We do all of the things that we did when we were kids. And most of us never even thought about the fact that at our age, 40 plus, we can still play outside with our friends. And I think that's the joy that a lot of us were missing and didn't even realize we needed been a lot of fun. The women are very encouraging. They allow you to just express yourself. We all kind of are in the same type of space in our lives. Ladies are coming out here not just to jump. They're coming to connect with other women. It's a really important part of our self-care to actually set aside time to prioritize doing something just for yourself. Self-care is not selfish. It is actually self-full and very necessary. It's taking the time to make sure that you're getting what you need for yourself, be that exercise, proper nutrition, rest, so that we can do all the things we have to do. As long as you want to learn it, they will teach it to you. You don't even have to jump. It's not about the double dutch. It's about the community. If you want to learn how to jump double dutch, we can teach anybody how to jump. If not, you can come out and just play with us or walk with us or talk with us. Just be in community because we just want you to keep it moving. We want to make sure that we are taking care of these bodies. We can show the world that just because you're getting older doesn't mean you have to act like you're old. <laughs>